Hello everybody, in this episode of Let's Code we're going to look at unit testing an ASP.NET Core application using Visual Studio 2017. And in my last video we used uh, .NET Core Runner to run our tests and resharper for the visual uh, visualization. But in 2017 things got much simpler to set up and much simpler to run the test um, directly in Visual Studio without any add-ins. So the first thing we're going to do is create an, a new project. We'll specify .NET Core web application. And we're going to use a web API for this example. All right, so once everything gets loaded up, the first thing we want to do is build, make sure we grab our dependencies from NuGet. And then we're going to add our XUnit testing library. Add new project. And um, it's, not, it's actually a template now, so um, all you have to do is just add the XUnit test project. And then add a reference to the web API. And we can build, grab our dependencies for our unit test library. All right, so now let's go ahead and write our first test. We'll resolve the dependency and call the endpoint. And we will assert that the count of the result is 2. And we'll have to add one more dependency um, for link. Okay, so there's one minor bug when you first run, or when you first add the XUnit test uh, and then add the dependency, there's one bug. So if you hover over this git here, it's going to tell you that it can't find uh, a, uh, let's see if I can get it to show up. Yeah, it says it can't find the controller and you must add the view features assembly from NuGet. That's actually not the case. So if we build this, it will still build. And if we run our test, you can see that they actually run and pass. Um, and by the way, so to get to the test explorer, you go to the test um, menu option, Windows, test explorer, and then you can optionally turn on run tests after build. So that means every time I build, it's going to run the tests. So I build and it runs. And if, let's see, let's uh, let's change. Let's actually make this failing, and I'll show you what it looks like. So let's make this thing return three values. And then we'll build this. And you can see the tests are running. And there it is, so it failed. Um, so that's kind of a neat feature. Um, just so you don't have to remember to go and run all tests, you can just click this button here to run tests after build. Um, one interesting thing that would be nice in 2017 is if live unit tests were supported, but they are not supported yet in .NET Core. However, um, they should be in the future. So let's make this pass again. We will make this pass by going to the test itself by double clicking on the failed test. We'll change this to three and build again. Now, if you want to get rid of this um, red error here, all you have to do is close the solution and then open it back up. So we'll go to Recent Projects, Web Application 4, and when it opens up, again, for the second time, you won't get that message that um, you need to include any other assemblies. 
All right, so that's really it. It's a much easier setup than it was before in 2015. And um, in the next video, we'll look at live unit testing a .NET standard library. All right, thank you.